The Galapagos Islands, found off the coast of Ecuador, are a group of volcanic islands that are a haven of endemic species. Ranging from penguins, sea turtles, marine iguanas, and many more, but they fail in comparison to the most different among Galapagos species, the flightless cormorant. This bird shines with its turquoise eyes, but it has a pathetic display of wings. Flightless cormorants are endemic to islands Fernandina and Isabella. This is the only known cormorant without the ability to fly, due to its small wings. It is usually a large blackish bird with turquoise eyes and a long tipped beak. They are found to be at least 35 to 39 and a half inches long, weighing about 5 and a half to 11 pounds. This bird's tipped beak is a scent for Galapagos Islands. It allows it to hunt with efficiency. It usually hunts for octopus, eels, and many other fish by pursuit dives powered by its legs and webbed feet. But its feathers are similar to other birds. They are not waterproof. Producing little oil in their preen gland has not helped them, but the air trapped in their dense plumage has kept these birds from being waterlogged. So after each dive, flightless cormorants will spread out its wings, chest to the sun, and it will dry them, simultaneously warming up its body from the cold Galapagos waters. In hotter days, flightless cormorants display a very different way of cooling down, called gular fluttering, basically supplementing evaporation from respiratory tract by fluttering the gular area. It varies from day to day as these birds can be presented with different amounts of heat stress, varying gular fluttering in amplitude and time. Flightless cormorants usually nest through the months of July to October, as surface temperatures are much cooler and there is an abundance of marine food. These temperatures are essential for the survival of new chicks, as heat stress is reduced and parents can provide adequate amounts of food. But how are these chicks born? It is a beautiful story that begins with courtship in the sea. Males will swim around females with their necks bent into a snake-like position. But as they move towards land, a male will usually present a bulky seaweed nest with gifts of rope or bottle caps. Females will lay three whitish eggs which are incubated by both male and female. The result is usually one chick due to egg infertility and predation. After hatching, both parents share the duty of caring and feeding the chick. In some conditions, such as food being plentiful, the female might leave the chick and male after 70 to 90 days have passed upon hatching. The female will usually go on to reproduce with another male but the male parent will continue his care until the chick has reached its independence in five to nine months. Overall, the flightless cormorants are a strong species since they reproduce quite often and they can live for about 13 years, but warmer waters due to El Nino cannot provide sufficient food to many Galapagos species, thus decreasing the longevity of the flightless cormorant and countless other Galapagos species. Find out more about flightless cormorants on Galapagos.org.